products to avoid. In this lesson you're going to learn about types of products that you should avoid when going through your product selection. This is a very short but incredibly important lesson. Before getting started searching we have a list of products that you should avoid. You can download the list in PDF format below this video. Avoiding products on this list will save you a lot of time and potential heartache. Basically all the products on the list are problematic and there are several reasons they could be a problem. Firstly, they could be incredibly competitive to the point of saturation, even though they may match most of the ASM criteria. Now we know this from results of previous students and our own experience too. Secondly, they could be patented and we know they have caused issues for our members in the past. Patent searches are not always perfect, so having this information from friends and members is a big bonus. These are the main two reasons, but there are others like hazmat issues, copyright, and special certificates like FDA approval. Now, in the PDF download, you will find a section for product types. It follows the section that actually gives specific products. These are general product types that you should avoid, especially for your first product. Products made of glass or other fragile substances can cause issues with returns. Because while Amazon do do a very good job of protecting the products that they send out, obviously with glass or other fragile substances it's more likely to get broken. Hazmat. Products that are combustible or dangerous to ship for instance. Basically Amazon do not permit FBA shipments for these kinds of products. And it's basically about shipping products of this type to the customers. Lithium ion batteries. Any product containing batteries of this type. This is all about shipping them, again, similar to hazmat. So avoid any products with lithium ion batteries. Multiple variations. Products with variations can be fantastic opportunities. And variations are simply a different color or a different size or something along those lines. However, for a first product, we recommend you avoid them due to higher inventory costs and also identifying which variation can be the most profitable. Patented. Avoid any products with patents or patent pending. There is a lesson at the end of this module showing you how to run patent searches. Plugs into electrical sockets. So products of this type can produce liability issues and also can be lower quality, especially if they're coming from China. So because of these two factors, we don't recommend you choose any product that needs to plug into a wall socket, for instance. Textiles should be avoided for your first product. Now, if you do find a textile product, make sure you check any special conditions or import duties. And you'll actually find a post in the community just about textiles if you want to go and take a look at it. Now, these general product types can cause confusion as they're not all cut and dried, the same as a specific product. If you do have any questions, please make sure you visit the community and check the existing posts. And as always, please feel free to ask any questions you might have. So, I just want to stress one more time that you avoid all products on this list, especially for your first product. If it helps, I would not choose any of these products and I have been doing this business for four years. We want you to succeed and avoiding these products will make your job much easier. So what's next? So now you've learned about products which you should avoid when going through the product selection process. In the next lesson, you're going to learn exactly what the ASM product selection process is. So your action step for this lesson, download and print the products to avoid PDF and keep it right next to your computer for when you start the product selection process. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.